We all might have that furniture piece that's functional, but not that pretty. Today I'll be sharing tips and ideas on how to upcycle a furniture piece and give it a second chance on life. Choco Paint, in association with Taste and Home magazine, is looking for South Africa's next Choco Champ. Today I'll be sharing tips and ideas on how to upcycle an old furniture piece into something fresh and vibrant. We will need the following items. Lacquer thinners and old drag, Choco Paint's decoupage sheets, Choco Paint colours, a pencil, masking tape, a ruler, Clear glaze, Moe roller, foam roller, an Enzyme Hamilton's brush and a pair of scissors. I have already cleaned my furniture piece well with the lacquer thinners and now I'm going to mask off the areas where I don't want any paint. I will be removing all the drawers and hardware. When applying the fabric sheets, we need a light colour on the back. That will allow all the print and detail on the sheet to be clearly visible. The colour that I will be using is called Hello Hetty. So I'm going to mask off these areas so that I can apply that colour first before I continue with the rest of the colour on the outside of my unit. Now the fun can start. I'm going to use Hello Hetty and paint those areas with a 50 millimeter enzyme brush. Dip a dry brush in my paint and then the creativity can start. Remember to always allow your first coat to dry for at least 40 minutes before you apply your second. I am going to work with Simply Sapiwe next and I'm going to use a paint tray and a mohair roller for the larger flat area. So I decanted some sepiwe in my tray. I use a 225 millimeter mohair roller. Roll it thoroughly through my paint. And this is the perfect tool to use on larger flat surfaces and I simply roll. Now that the largest area is covered with Simply Sepiwe, that is simply a beautiful colour, I will continue with my foam roller and my paintbrush to reach all the smaller details on the inside of this unit. And now the paintwork is complete. I absolutely love the earthy warm tones. And I'm just going to add the last bit of excitement. I'll be using Choco Paint's fabric sheets. And something that I have done already is I have measured the insides of my cupboard. I have cut the paper according to size. And now I'm going to adhere it to my surface using clear glaze. I'm going to need a clean paintbrush and my fabric sheet and the fun is going to start. My decoupage fabric is on my unit. It looks beautiful. I'm now going to remove my masking tape, put back my shelves, and then we'll look at the end result. And voila! 
We have a cupboard that's both functional and beautiful and adds to the aesthetic of a space.